Hi everyone. Um, I'm joined by one of my cats here, so she'll join in the lesson. Um, I just wanted to explain a little further how we will actually take our essay topic and use these brainstorming techniques because this is something that you will be doing um, before your outline and your first draft. So, you'll remember the inverted pyramid, right? So this helps us form a focused thesis. So your topic is a life-changing experience, right? Something that um, either a relationship with someone, an event, good or bad, um, anything in your life that was very memorable and um, changed your identity, changed your desires for the future, changed your personality, strengthened you, whatever you may want to talk about. So that's what goes at the top for everyone. Okay, so for this one, I'm giving an example of a student who received an A who did a great paper. So she focused on high school. Um, and then to make it a little bit more specific, high school swim team, right? And then to make her thesis, how being on the high school swim team changed her life and made her stronger, more social, and also more focused in schoolwork and other things in her life. So that was a really great way to form a thesis. Now, to make this into a cluster diagram, what you would do, cluster diagram comes second, right? So inverted pyramid first, then cluster diagram. It helps expand your thesis into your points. So we're going to put our thesis in the center. I'm not going to write the whole thing, but you remember, right, how being on the high school swim team changed her life. So try to find your points now. So you're going to aim for at least three points for this essay, right? Three would be the ideal amount. So it made her stronger, right? It made her more social, and it made her more focused, right? Now... That is not enough for an essay, right? We need specific examples. We need descriptive language. We need to use our senses, right? So we're going to do two examples right here for each one. So that's your goal, right? To do two examples for each of your points. So how did it make her stronger? Well, physically, it made her more strong, right? Because all of the workouts and um, preparing herself at the gym and all of those things. Um, so physically, right? Working out, etc. Also, she start, stopped drinking soda and started drinking water, right? So that switch to water also made her stronger and more healthy. Um, now, how did she become more social? Well, she said she was not very social before, but she met friends on the swim team, right? So she developed a relationship with a close group of girls there. Um, and then also her coach, right? Her relationship with her coach, it really inspired her because her coach was very... Um, I think her coach was really momentous in helping her overcome some of her obstacles in her life. Um, and later on, her coach actually wrote her a recommendation letter to get into college, which I thought was great. Um, and how did she become more focused? This was the last point she saved for last, because I think this is kind of what brought her into the future and her goals. So keep that in mind, too. Like, what would be my best final point? So for more focus, she said she used to always be late, right, for all her classes. But one day she was late for the swim team practice and her coach made her sit on the bench and she could not participate. She said that that taught her to never be late again. And she carried that over into all her classes, into the future. Um, and then the other point that she made about being more focused was she decided what she wanted to do in the future. And she said that she wanted to be a teacher. She wanted to be an inspiration in kids' lives the way her coach was for her. So, um, and that kind of led her into her conclusion, you know, reflecting back on her life and how she realized how this one decision to join the high school swim team impacted all these things in her life and ultimately made her the person that she is today. So that's really what I want you to do, right? So just to recap real quick, what I want us to do is everyone's putting life-changing experience at the top, everyone, but the rest of these are up to you. So it might not have been high school, might have been grammar school, might have been this year, might have been the pandemic might have been a relationship with someone in your life. Um, whatever it may be, you're going to start here, work your way down to a thesis, right? Then you're going to take that thesis, put it in the center here, develop three points, one, two, three, and then you're going to aim for two examples for each point, okay? Um, and this is ultimately going to be your outline because your outline is going to have a thesis, it's going to say point one, example one and two, point two, example one and two, and point three, example one and two, right? So all this is leading to the outline that you will be submitting before your first draft. So we're going to do this as soon as possible, okay? And once I approve of these two 
then you can move on to your outlining stage. Um, I would recommend submitting this one first, letting me see your thesis, then I can okay you to go to this step. And then once you go to this step, I'll okay you to go to the outline. So it'll be a process. So we'll work on it together. Um, all the directions will be there online for you, like they always are. And I will see you soon.